Hey everybody and welcome to another exciting unboxing for my channel and today we are here to look at the brand new Sony PlayStation Classic. So if you're familiar with the Nintendo Classic, the Super Nintendo Classic, it's basically the same thing. This is not an actual PlayStation, it's essentially a little emulator box with an HDMI hookup and two controllers and 20 original PlayStation games. We also have this which I will get to. Now I know when this first came out or was it first announced everybody was super excited and super hyped. But I also know that as things went on, um, people got a little bit more and more disappointed with uh, what was happening with this. And we'll talk about as much of that as I have learned about as we go along. Um, so basically, I think this is really mostly for casual gamers. This is not obviously for hardcore gamers because a lot of people out there will be like, well, why don't you just, you know, get a converter or use the original or use your PlayStation 2 or whatever. And yeah, you can do that if you have all these games and all that, you know, so I mean, that's fine. But if you want a real simple way just to hook up and play and you don't mind if it's a, not 100% authentic to the original versions, but even so close that most people wouldn't notice, this is probably what you're looking for. This is gonna cost you $100 in US money, and that's before tax. And you can find these fairly easy. And mostly people are really upset about the the choices of games and games that are lacking, and I can kind of understand that. I did have an original PlayStation, but I was more of a Nintendo 64 guy. So, you know, most of these games, I never got a chance to play at all. Now, one complaint I do hear people have about this is apparently they use the PAL versions in the emulation. So it runs at a different uh, Hertz uh, refresh rate which in turn makes the games run slightly slower than you might remember. But honestly, I don't know how much that's actually going to matter to me. <laughs> and we will go through this list of games. We'll check out everything in here and see what we think. So, of course, we have Battle Arena, Cool Borders 2, Destruction Derby, Final Fantasy VII, Grand Theft Auto, the original, which I've never played. Never played any of these. I'll tell you which ones I have. Intelligent Cube, Jumping Flash, Metal Gear Solid, which I thought I had for the NES, but oh, I guess it was Metal Gear for the NES. Mr. Driller, Odd World, I don't know, Odd World, Abe's Odyssey, which I'd like to play. Rayman, Resident Evil Director's Cut, that I've played. Revelations Persona, R4 Ridge Racer Type 4, Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo, uh, Siphon Filter, Tekken 3, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six, Twisted Metal, I might have played a little of, and Wild Arms. So as you can see, I've barely played any of these games. So this should be pretty cool, I think. It is fairly heavy, it is pretty solid. <clears throat> and again, I think, you know, unless your kid is super into gaming or unless you're super into like worried about the quality, which I totally understand. I'm a stickler when it comes to like visual quality of movies and stuff. But if you're not too worried about that, you just want a simple plug and play device, then this is pretty much the way to go. Um, you, these, I don't think you're gonna have nearly the trouble finding these like you would the Nintendos when they first came out. And by the way, this is very, very important. Uh, parents buying it for children or anything. Watch this. Now, we'll talk about that more as we get in here. <laughs> but first, let's get in here and let's see what this thing looks like. See if we can bring back some nostalgic oohs and ahs. So, much like when you buy at least a PlayStation 4, you have a big, thick, white cardboard case that can be difficult to get out. This is just a thin kind of cardboard surrounding thing. Hold on, come on, there we go. So you kind of shake it a little bit, and you know, and there's really nothing else in there. So that's kind of interesting. You do get the PlayStation, classic PlayStation logo on there. Nothing really else on the box. There's some of that if you're interested. And let's get further in here. And of course I will show off some of these games. I don't know if I have time, honestly, to go through all 20 right now, but we'll play, we'll play a little bit of some in this video just to give you a sense of things. All right, so we saw, oh, that is, wow, that's way smaller than you think it's gonna be based on the size of the box. Let's get everything out and then we'll kind of look through everything. You know, we'll give you a better better look at this as we go along. I'm just trying to see how you even unpack this. Hold on. This is oddly packaged. So do I pull from up here or do I... Because, yeah, it looks like, okay, we got flaps up here. Wait, what? Okay, no. I do like keeping my packaging... Oh, there we go. In as good a condition as I can. Because, you know, this is more of a collector's item for me more than anything because I do have my PlayStation 2 and a Frame Meister and all that. We do have the HDMI hookup. We'll look at that. We got a USB for power, and we have two of the uh, PlayStation controllers. I do not have, or at least have not found, any of my original PlayStation controllers, my PS2 controllers I have, so I can't really compare and contrast for you guys here today, though, unfortunately. 
But let me try to put this back together just a little bit while I get it out of the way. Okay, that was not too bad, not too bad at all. So first and foremost, let's take a quick look at some of the instructions. This should be pretty darn simple. Just get the tape off there. This does remind me of like an original PlayStation manual, so I don't know if that's an intentional thing or if that's just my mind playing tricks on me. So you get it in two languages, it's super thin. We're just gonna take a quick look at the English one. I mean, it is pretty darn self-explanatory, which I guess is what a manual should do. You can of course pause if you want to read any of this. I'm just trying to give you a chance. Although you're probably better off just Googling, you know, PlayStation Classic instruction manual and looking at a PDF. But if you wanna do that, you can. All right, so we have the USB cable and we'll definitely talk more about the power issue in just a moment. I just wanna see, get a sense of the length. That's not super long. It's maybe a four or five foot cable. And of course you have the micro USB to regular USB 2.0. Now you can plug into like TV power supposedly, um, but I don't know. I felt like we wanna get one of these, which we'll check out in just a second. And it was recommended, or it wasn't recommended, but it was suggested at GameStop. And I'm like, oh, I might as well get one to have something else to open in the video. So <laughs> that's where I ordered mine. I got mine through GameStop. So you got your normal, just old HDMI cable. Unlike the Nintendo, this is not branded with anything PlayStation. I'm gonna guess that's a four or five foot cable as well. I'm just kind of guessing. So it's got a decent amount of length. Maybe not the most length in the world. Now let's check out one of these controllers. These cables look like they might be fairly original cable length. I don't know. Hmm. Let's see. Maybe I'll have a picture with a measurement or something. Maybe I won't, but uh, that does not seem super long. It does seem longer than the uh, NES Classic controller cables, but I don't know that it's any longer than that really. And so it's a USB hookup, so that's actually kind of nice, not a pro proprietary hookup. So maybe there'll be some fun things we can do with that in the future. And of course you got your L1, L2s, your triangle, circle, X, and square with your start select. This does bring back memories. God, pre, pre um, analog sticks just feels so weird. I'm just so used to them now. And I've been playing so much PS4 lately that but these feel pretty good. They actually hand, hand, hold in your hand pretty well. They feel pretty authentic. So I'm pretty happy with how that's turning out. And they got the classic gray and all that going on. And it is nice that they give you two controllers, though I don't know how many games are actually two player. But man, this is like way smaller than I thought it would be. And honestly, like compared to the Nintendo classics and stuff, I think it's even smaller than that. And I don't know that I like that they've left this open and no like plugs to put over it. Cause at least with the um, like the Super Nintendo Classic, you kind of had the thing that when it's open, it's ugly, but at least it can kind of keep that from getting too clogged up with dust. You can actually push, of course, the power button. You can push the open button. It's not actually gonna open anything for you. And you can push the reset button. So then back here, you just have your basic power and your HDMI. So again, super easy, super simple to, to hook up, but look at how small that is and this thing, I mean, this isn't even a pound. This is maybe like four or five ounces. It is so light. All right, so just real quick, we'll take a look at this and then we'll go start looking at some of the games. So this is what GameStop had just as a recommendation. It's 10 bucks. I'm sure you can get these things cheaper, but I thought I'm here and I'm gonna use that. I even joked, it's like, eh, to give me a chance to, ex to complain about the power situation. Now, I know a lot of people are complaining about a lot of things, <laughs> but um, this is the one thing I think truly is legitimately complain complaint worthy, worthy. I mean, everybody's complaints are valid in some way or another, but the fact that they didn't actually include an AC plug in the box for a hundred bucks, that's pretty awful. <laughs> so I don't see what, didn't see what the power requirements on this was, but uh, this one is, it's a five volt with one amp. So pretty much your phone chargers would totally work. Um, I got a little confused in the excitement of picking this up and it was confusing my watts and my amperage and I thought I needed something a little more powerful, but you know, now I have an extra one of these or I have one dedicated for this I don't have to worry about. All right, so that is pretty much what this looks like. And uh, now, Let's play some games. Web systems.
Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention? <laughs> and I'm waiting for. Hit me. Cool borders. Here we go. Come on.
This is Rupture Farms. They say
I don't know. I don't know. Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we're searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle Chris, of our mission. You found it? No, I haven't found it yet. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon What is this? Wow! What a mansion! Captain Wesker, where's Chris? Stop it! Don't open that door! But Chris is... What is it? Maybe it's Chris. Now, Jill. Can you go? I'm going with you. Chris is our old partner, you know. Okay. Let me handle this. Stay alert! A dining room. What? What is this? What is it? Blood. Jill, see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Hope this is not Chris's blood.
Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed that. I'm pretty sure I had a good time with it. Obviously, I'm fin shooting this into ending before I actually play the games. But um, I guess I, I assume I left you a little commentary, a little bit of thoughts. But definitely let me know what you think. Are you still excited for one of these or did they totally blow it? You don't have to be angry about it. I definitely want to hear your opinions. And even if you are angry, you don't have to be, you don't have to leave angry comments. But, you know, I want to hear both sides. If you are excited about this, are you a casual gamer and you're totally fine? Or, you know, are you a hardcore gamer and you're just really disappointed? Which of these games are your favorites? Which ones do you think I would like the most initially because I love good story games? Of course, I'm here mostly for Resident Evil because I'm a huge Resident Evil fanboy. And let me know what's your favorite game. And if you are getting one of these, how, what are you playing? Just geek out with me in the comments. I love to hear your thoughts on these kind of things, especially as we get more and more into gaming stuff on my channel. So I'm looking forward to hearing what you all think about it. Other than that, you can click the thumbs up button. Give me the good old thumb of encouragement, as I do love to be encouraged. And I guess I'm going to get out of here, find a nice little uh, case to keep all this in, play some games, and open up some more stuff. I'll see you all later. Later.